All right, everybody, welcome to another Tuesday Dump. We are currently out on the road uh, this week, me and Cheese Stick, my trainee that I currently have with me. And uh, so we've been we're kind of thinking, you know, what are we gonna do for the Tuesday Dump this week? Kind of racking our brains, thinking of different things that we can show you guys, talk to you guys about or whatnot. And uh, I figured, you know what? We are actually delivering to a Lowe's today, or well, in the morning. Something that we use out on the road as a flat better or for flat petting, as we use what's called an edge protector pull or extension, whatever fancy word you come up for. But essentially, what it is is it's this pull that we use to put edge protectors up on tall loads. If you haven't seen it in one of my videos on my vlog, first of all, why are you not watching my vlogs? And second of all, I'm pretty sure you have. Uh, but in case you haven't been living under a rock, this is what it looks like. It's pretty easy, PVC pipe, nothing too fancy, pretty simple. But you take it, put your edge protector in here, and you can reach the top of the load. Especially for you short people like Cheese Stick over here, who's like a foot shorter than me. But, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Lowe's. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, what kind of materials that I use to make my PVC uh, pull, or edge protector pull extension, whatever. And uh, burger tile too for customer assistance. But yeah, so we're gonna go in there, and we're gonna grab everything, show you how much it costs to make one at Lowe's, which I'd imagine it's pretty much gotta be like the same price at a Home Depot, right? And uh, yeah, show you how, how to put one together. So then that way, if you guys come to TMC or you go to any other flat bedding company, you have your pole. And uh, yeah. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell notification right next to it so that way you guys are notified of every Tuesday dump and every vlog that I do on Saturday that if you're not watching, you're too crazy and need to be watching. And uh, yeah, let's roll that in. Look, see, there's cheese stick. <laughs> All right. This is the one thing to get used to when you're doing videos, is the camera crap. Because you think everyone's judging you and they're 100% judging you. Yeah, see them short legs. He takes forever back there. Uh, what we're doing is we're actually looking for the plumbing section now because we need PVC pipe. All right. So this is the one you're gonna want. This is it. So what we're buying is a you know, three quarter inch, 10 foot. Now obviously we don't need all 10 foot, um, but we're buying a buck, buying one, so that's a buck 96. And the next thing we need is we need a T intersection. Exactly just like what he has. Now will that fit my pipe? Yeah, we want something just a little bit bigger than that. Like longer. We want this one right here. Wait, is that the same thing? Yeah. That's the same thing. <laughs> All right, so you grab the three quarter, which again, that's also a buck 98. So you're already up to about $3 after tax. Now, a couple things that we're gonna need. Now, if you have tools at home, you can do this yourself. If you don't have tools at home, like we don't have tools in the truck to do this, two things we need to do. One, we need to cut this pole down. All right. That's way too long, we don't need it that long. And then we're gonna need something to put a cut or a slit into the front of the T-section. So we're gonna have to go find an employee to help us with that. Actually, I got tools right there. I think they get mad we'll just use their tool to cut it? Uh, it's probably what they're there for. <laughs> All right, so what I would do, I would think it's like the top of the load's like this, right? Yeah. So I would think something like this. So what I would do, do is I'd cut it. Do you pull our shelves or? Do what? Do the camera see you how full our shelves Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no, we're just we making don't... a video on how to build something. Yeah. Oh, how to build something. Yeah, yeah we oh. just... Oh, we were literally 
that we were standing next to the need help button the entire time, and we could have just pressed this button. God, I feel stupid. Sweet. One part of it. Now, this guy. This might be a little harder. We definitely have to clamp it down. I don't have anything to clamp it down. All right. So real quick update. We, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we cut the stick. <laughs> I got assistance to cutting the stick. Let me show the other half of the stick. Oh, the pipe. So that's cut. And then what they did is they took the T-section and they went to the back and they're going to use the clamp. And uh, hook us up. So now we're just we're just waiting for him to get back. Yeah. No. He could. Have. Have it All right. So we're all cut up, good to go. And now we're gonna go ahead and pay for it. Now, <laughs> the adhesive that we're gonna use is super glue. All right. Nothing too fancy, just super glue. I'm pretty sure any normal person already has a thing of super glue. But if you don't, go get it. What do you think super glue costs? I don't know, two, three bucks. Like two, three bucks? But we're already, for the one pipe, that was like two bucks. And then for the T, that was two bucks. So that's four bucks after tax. You're looking at, what, still under five bucks for the total thing minus the cost of super glue. So if you don't have super glue, it's gonna cost you a little bit more. Are you super excited? Yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna leave this. Thing. And it's yours. The barcode on this thing. That one works. <laughs> it's the same thing, we just cut it. That's what they said to say in the back. <laughs> Alright. I think the best thing about this whole experience is walking around with your camera like this through a store and everybody's like, what you doing? What's that camera for? Right. All right, so we bought the pipe, we bought the T-section. We were kind enough to have somebody help us. Uh, but I'm not gonna say where. But any, <clears throat> any question. And we got the receipt. It's all together with the PVC pipe, which we got cut in the T-section. We paid $3.64. That easy, that simple, $3.64. And then if you need super glue, it's like an extra two bucks. But uh, we're gonna get back to the truck and we're gonna go ahead, super glue this together. And bada bing, bada boom, we are done with this Tuesday dump. Let's hurry. I uh, found my super glue. See, super glue. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tea. I don't already get dirty. Yeah. I haven't even had five minutes in here. Cheese stick. Cheese stick already getting crap all over. Damn it, I think it's super glued. The super glue. I super glued the super glue. All right. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a nice generous coat along the inside of the tea. You know, I only bought this super glue originally for when I made mine. Yeah. <laughs> How long ago is that? Well, I started driving. <laughs> and you still have the super glue. And I still have the super glue. You're not American if you don't have super glue just randomly somewhere. Then I'm gonna take the pipe and I'm gonna go. Get on there. Let it start to seal. And then on the inside. All right, any woozles? I can't get it to stop blurring. On the inside, around this ring, we're also gonna put some super glue there too. It is really nice up here. It is. It's like 80 degrees and cozy. So, I'm gonna drop some in there. And then while we give this a second to harden, I'm gonna go grab an edge protector so I can show you guys. Of course, give me the one with rust. I have rust all on my hand. Idiot! Hey, God. Bro, I feel like I got super glue in my beard now. All right, so we've, we've <laughs> we started to let this harden. As you can see, the, the super glue is doing its thing. This is an edge protector. See the edge protector? Ooh. Edge protector goes on the edge of a product that you do not want to harm with a strap, all that good stuff. 
Um, example installation. And then, uh, so you see, see the slits? Now, it is held on by the edge protector pole. And then all I gotta do, oh, you know what? This is perfect. Grab the camera real quick. Here, you can turn, turn this. And then, watch this. You can just, right there. Just stay right there. You got all this? You Ooh. see it all? Just stay right there. All right, watch this. I don't know, this is Lowe's trucks, by the way, so. But, hey, look. Uh, uh, I can't reach. Keg. What? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. That's it. That is the edge protector pole. And then you can also remove. Ooh, watch this. Wait, 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 wait. All right, do you think? Do you think? Oh. Ah, drop it. <laughs> <laughs> that is how you guys make an edge, edge protector pole. So that way you guys can put edge protectors on the top of the loads that you cannot reach, nor you say want to get on because you cannot get on in a safely manner. I hope you guys found this week's a Tuesday Dump video useful, helpful. Uh, and if you find it helpful, help me out by hitting that subscribe button, like I said. And uh, yeah, let's build the community together and welcome to the LG family. See you guys next week.